Hello guys, welcome to Techno Hub. My name is Deep. So let's start our second episode of Daily Tech News. So guys, the first news is coming from Motorola. The Motorola Edge Lite with model number XT2075 has been spotted in FCC filing. According to the report by Price Power, in collaboration with the dipster Ishan Agarwal, Motorola is working on a toned down version of its flagship Motorola Edge series that will be called the Motorola Edge Lite. According to the rumors, the phone could be powered by Snapdragon 765G or 730G chipset with 5G support along with the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage and a 4700mAh battery. We can expect the phone will be likely cheaper than the flagship H Plus and even the Motorola Edge. Couple of news coming from Apple. Apple has reignited the development of Apple Air Power, their own wireless charging technology. Back in 2017, they had announced about its development and promised to deliver in 2018. But until 2019, Apple had kept quiet about its launch, saying they faced some technical challenges that caused overlapping coils to overheat when charging the Apple Watch. But now, a new tweet from League star John Prosser reveals that Apple has indeed started working on refining the air power charging mat and the latest prototype is shown successfully charging the Apple Watch. According to his another tweet, Apple was able to dynamically manage the heat buildup using an A11 chipset, the same one found in the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone 10. The next update from Apple is they are soon starting its mass production of A14 Bionic chip later this month. The new chipset is for the 5G Apple iPhone 12 series that is expected to launch this year. The Apple A14 chipset will be built on the 5nm process making it more powerful and more efficient than the Apple A13 chip which currently is used on the iPhone 11 series and the iPhone AC 2020. The current chip, the 7nm A13 packs 96.5 million transistors into a square inch. However, this is still inferior to the 171.3 million transistors that can fit into a square millimeter using the new 5 nanometer process. And now the biggest news from Apple is they are all set to host its 31st Worldwide Developers Conference also known as WWDC starting today till 26 June. The event will kick off today with a keynote speech at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is around 10.30 p.m. IST. This will only be an online event due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation. The conference is free for all and everyone can now watch the event on Apple's website and YouTube channel. However, apart from today's keynote speech, you will not be able to view the rest of the other season live stream on YouTube. You can only view them from Apple's website or from the Apple app. And Apple is expected to announce the new versions of iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and watchOS, and even the tvOS at WWDC 2020. Apple's iOS operating system that runs on the iPhone and iPad Touch will be renamed to iPhone OS. Also, Apple might introduce a new AR app called Gobi, and their much-awaited Apple Air Power. We will find out more after today's event, so stay tuned. Next on the list is Samsung. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series is rumored to arrive on August 5 and has been certified by the NFC forum, taking it a step closer to the launch. So let's take it with a pinch of salt. Two models are listed on NFC forum's website, SM981U and SM986U, believed to be the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Plus respectively. However, it's unclear whether SM986U is the Note 20 Plus because it was listed on the Bluetooth SIG site as the Note 20 Ultra. Unfortunately, the NFC forum website doesn't include any specifications of the two smartphones. But recently, the name Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has appeared in a new Bluetooth SIG certification document leaked earlier this month. According to ICE Universe, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which is expected to be the top model of the Galaxy Note 20 family, will come with the Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus chipset. The phone will also have a 120Hz gig refresh rate display that offers QHD Plus resolution. This feature, which is not available in the Galaxy S20 series, points to a significant upgrade. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will have a highly efficient LTPO panel that provides a better battery life. In addition, the phone will offer a new camera functions and a new S Pen features, but we do not have any information yet about what will actually happen. The next news is coming from Z5. 
So Z5 is bringing a TikTok rival app as demand for the homegrown app search. The company says this app is specifically designed to cater to the Indian audience, keeping intact the Indian culture in mind. Also, the company is focusing majorly on the safety and security features so that users can make the most out of this platform. As the anti-China sentiments are rising and the demand for the homegrown products is going up, this can prove to be the perfect opportunity for Indian companies to grab the audience's attention and be a huge success. And we, as an Indian, obviously welcome the efforts of our Indian companies if they can provide us the quality and the security through their apps or any other products. We have some interesting news coming from Xiaomi. Xiaomi Mi Watch Revolve will be launching soon, but the big question is, will it come to India amid the boycott China trend? Currently, it is rumored to be the rebranded version of Mi Watch Color. Interestingly, the smartwatch was listed alongside upcoming Mi Smart Band 4C, which could be rebranded as a Redmi product. Sources say that a Spanish YouTuber also uploaded a video on the Mi Watch Revolve from AliExpress and claimed it to be costing around 84 euro, which is roughly around 7160. I'll share the YouTube link, link down below for your reference. The smartphone could feature a 1.39 inch dial with 454 into 454 pixel resolution. It will include a battery of 420mAh that can last up to 14 days. Connectivity includes Bluetooth 5.0, GLONASS, ambient light sensor, barometric sensor and NFC. We'll find out about it more in the upcoming days. Xiaomi users may not like this news coming from Xiaomi. They have stopped the development of MIUI for its phones. But you have nothing to worry about. According to the news report by Giz China, the company will be closed for a week from 26 Jan to 3rd July because of a holiday, the Dragon Boat Festival. So you'll have to wait a bit more to get the MIUI 12 update till they resume the rollout up after the holiday. After this, the company will soon start rolling out the MIUI 12 stable beta update for the next set of phones which include Redmi Note 7, Redmi Note 7 Pro and Redmi Note 8 Pro. This list also includes the Redmi Note 7S, the Redmi Note 9, Poco F1, Poco F2 Pro and the Poco X2. Another news from Xiaomi is they are planning to launch its Xiaomi Mi TV stick. We came to know about its existence after a product briefing in Germany. The image of the device shows the streaming stick along with the remote control. The remote control with the MI TV stick looks like the remote we have seen with the MI Box 4K that recently launched in India. It has dedicated keys for launching Netflix and Prime videos and also a dedicated Google Assistant button. The product can also be found listed in AliExpress with some of these interesting specs. Please go through the specifications listed on the screen. The next news is coming from the wearable maker Huami. So today they have launched the MS with Stratos 3 smartwatch in India. The highlights of the Stratos 3 smartwatch are its dual OS, dual chip and a 14 day battery life. The company first revealed the Stratos 3 smartwatch at the global stage at IFA 2019 in Germany. Other specifications include 4 satellites, 3 modes GPS positioning with up to 70 hours continuous GPS. 80 sports modes from daily activities to professional sports, first beat professional workout analysis, standalone music playback with about 400 songs capacity, sleep and heart rate monitor, pedometer, notifications, weather forecast, etc. 5 ATM water resistance, touchscreen, and fitness and outdoor. The smartwatch will be available on the e commerce platform Flipkart from today 8 pm onwards and will be priced at 14,000. So guys that's all the tech news for today. Let me know in the comment section down below which tech news excites you the most. Also if you like the video do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get all the notifications. I'll be back with another episode of daily tech news. Till then take care and bye bye.